Hi everyone, this is Daniel Scranton and I'm going to channel the Arcturian Council. <laughs> certain that you are all getting exactly what you need to evolve and to ascend. We and others like us just want to help. We just want you to have extra support in working with all of the energies that you are constantly receiving. And we also know that you have your challenges with one another there on earth. And we want to help resolve as much conflict as we can. We want to see all of you living harmoniously as you evolve and ascend. And we know that there are faster routes to getting there. Just like you don't have to 
hit rock bottom in order to start a path of recovery. But a lot of people do that and that's okay. When it comes to all of you coming together and living harmoniously as a whole, you don't have to be on the verge of nuclear war in order to come together. You don't have to have catastrophes, cataclysms, natural disasters or bombs exploding to shake you all awake and help you realize that conflict resolution doesn't have to go to extremes before both sides or both groups or both parties come together because you realize at the end of the day, you're all human. You're all human and you're sharing this beautiful planet of yours, which gives you everything that you need to thrive. But of course, people choose to incarnate in different places, to have different experiences. And not everyone is born into an area where there's plenty of food, plenty of drinking water, plenty of opportunities, and so on. When you start to receive energies of oneness from groups, beings and collectives like ourselves, you cannot help but wonder how you can reach out from your place of having plenty to help someone who chose to be born in a place where they have access to a lot less. That simple act of asking yourself how you can help elevates the consciousness of the entire collective. Now, when you follow through with an action or an offering to help, you are taking it one step further. You are putting that sentiment into action, which gives it more energy and adds even more to the collective consciousness of humanity. Now, everyone there is not at the same level spiritually. So not everyone is receiving those energies of oneness that are upon you now. Those of you who do receive this particular energetic transmission will have the capacity to serve. You have the ability to extend from your place of knowing who you really are, and you will be able to help someone else, even if you cannot help them out with food or money, water or a job opportunity. You help by extending the oneness vibration to them. 
you help just by setting the intention that everyone be heard, seen, treated fairly. You help by holding the desire that everyone get what they need to live in a human body. And you are sending out that signal to the universe as well that you want to be a conduit through which more can flow so you can do more good in the world. We know that everyone can have enough there on earth. Just as we know that everyone's getting what they need energetically, we also know that not everyone receives at the same rate. Some of you are more accustomed to receiving than others. Those of you who have received more can also demonstrate to your fellow humans how to open up so that they too can receive. You can teach others how to meditate, how to connect with Mother Nature and Mother Earth, how to feel for the energies that are around them. <coughs> you can upload your own YouTube video. You can make your own blog post. You can share with so much love in your heart all that you have been able to download and utilize for your own purposes of evolving and ascending. And that's why there are these different levels of consciousness and these different locations on earth it is all to give everyone the opportunity to experience themselves as one who gives and one who receives one who lacks and one who has abundance and the coming together of the one who needs and the one who has to give is such a beautiful experience to witness. And we see more and more of that happening on planet Earth every single day. And that's what we are excited to share with you in this moment. Well, the Arcturian Council, and we have enjoyed connecting with you. for watching my video if you're new to me I'm Daniel Scranton a lot of you are I'm sure because of this uh, awakening adventure I'm a part of I think a lot more people have discovered me lately and so I want to welcome you if you're new um, <clears throat> I uh, 
send you my blessings. Namaste. And um, hope you're living a life of joy. I um, have that announcement to make, as always. The Awakening Adventure with myself, Mike Dooley, Lisa Royal Holt, Matt Kahn, Daryl Anka, who channels Bashar, Sarah Landon, Sal Rochelle. Um, we started today with the adventure and I'm watching Lisa's um, presentation with Sasha, the being she channels from the Pleiades. I'm only about 20 minutes into it, I'd say. And so I'm looking forward to watching the rest of that. Um, as I have my lunch type snack, I basically snack throughout the day and um, have kind of a proper breakfast and dinner some days. But um, I hope you're all doing well. I also have um, an upcoming course, a three week course I'm doing by myself, where I will channel the Arcturians, the Creators and the Pleiadians um, at the end of each class. It's three one hour classes. It's a manifestation course. Um, I forget the full name of it, but it's at danielscranton.com slash manifest or look for a link down below if you're watching on the YouTube. Speaking of YouTube, I've been watching tons of videos lately on near-death experiences, people describing them, what they went through and what they took away from their near-death experiences. And it's freaking awesome. I love doing that um, and hearing those stories. I'm so glad YouTube recommended a video on an NDE, which is near-death experience for short. <laughs> and I tuned in yesterday. Oh, I wanted to tell you guys too that those of you who are fans of my daughter, Talea, because you hear me talk about her, um, there's both pictures and video on my wife's Instagram right now of all of us, all three of us. Um, even as recently as yesterday when Tele and I were at the playground together. Um, so my, her Instagram is at sweet Maricris Dominique and Maricris is M-A-R-I-C-R-I-S and Dominique is D-O-M-I-N-I-Q-U-E and um, start following her. She's allowed everybody to follow her now. She used to have one of those accounts where you had to be approved but anybody can follow her and see um, the pictures that are on there of the little three-year-old and the two of us. Um, not else is not, not else, nothing else. <laughs> it's really new here to report. Um, I hope you're all having a great week. Um, as soon as I'm done transcribing this, I'm sure we'll go back to the playground or maybe a forest today, somewhere fun for us to enjoy the uh, limited amount of daylight we have left here because it's winter here. Um, but I look forward to that. So I hope you have something to look forward to in your life and do consider signing up for this awakening adventure, which I forgot to give you the URL for. Daniel Scranton slash Daniel Scranton dot com. Got to include the dot com slash awakening will get you to a page where you can then go to the page on Mike's Mike Dooley's site and register registration will be open throughout the entire event. So another month of possible uh, signer uppers there. And there, there's replay pages as I missed Lisa's probably by many, many hours because I forgot that uh, nine or three p.m. over there is, I think, 5 a.m. here. <laughs> so I'm watching the replay. All right. So anyway. I'm signing off now. Thanks again for watching. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Please do hit subscribe if you're new to this channel and you're watching for the first time and you haven't subscribed yet. Everybody else, wherever you are, come back again tomorrow. I'll do it again. See you then.